Hi, everybody. I hope you're enjoying Google Cloud Next so far. In this session, we're going to talk to you about the value of getting a Google Cloud certification uh, to help you in your career and to help advance the projects that you're involved in in the world of cloud computing. My name is Brian Rice, and I work on Google Cloud's learning portfolio team. And I'm joined today by my colleague, Osaze. Hello, everyone. My name is Osaze Maswen, and I'm a technical program manager in Google Global Networking. Really excited to be here and looking forward to this talk. Thank you so much. Um, here's the way we're going to structure our session today. I'm going to kick it off by talking about the roles that are out there in the world of cloud computing and their demand and how that's shaping and changing as we move further and further into the cloud era. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the learning resources that Google Cloud makes available to help people achieve a wide range of Google Cloud certifications. Then I'm gonna bring on Osaze and he's gonna tell us about how certifications helped him propel his career path. Finally, we'll wrap it up by talking about the benefits of Google Cloud certifications, both to the people who achieve them and to the teams that they're a part of. Let's start off by talking about the demand for cloud computing roles. We recently did a survey where leaders were asked about the barriers that they had to cloud success. And over 80% of them identified a skills gap on their team as a top barrier. And this is a really significant problem if you think about the fact that more than 90% of those leaders expect to have increased use of cloud over the next three years. This tells us that skills are a critical factor in companies move to the cloud. And we know it's a it's of growing importance to the cloud community because job postings that were specifically calling for cloud skills grew by more than 40% over the two years that ended in the first quarter of 2021. And of course, there was a lot of change and a lot of upheaval over that period. Uh, this significant growth tells us about the fact that skills are fuel for companies moving into the cloud and revolutionizing the way they work. We at Google Cloud are especially proud of the fact that in a survey conducted by Global Knowledge, the top two paying IT certifications in the year 2021 in the US we're both Google Cloud certifications. We take this both as testimonial to the value of Google Cloud itself and also to the programs that we offer for recognizing people's skills and helping people train themselves up so that they can achieve those credentials. Now, cloud computing always requires an approach to learning and credentialing that is focused on job roles. After all, uh, the roles that people play is how people get value out of cloud computing. Google Cloud technology training uh, is aimed at cloud solutions rather than following particular products boundaries. And it's keyed to the solutions that customers tried to pursue, which was their reason for getting into the cloud in the first place. Now I'd like to talk with you about the resources that we make available to help people skill up and the certifications that we make available to recognize people's skill levels. Now, when you're leading a team of professionals, um, you have to keep in mind that people are all starting at different places. Everybody on a team starts with a wide variety of existing skill levels. Also, people have different preferred learning styles the same kind of learning experience doesn't work for everybody. So that's why we offer a wide variety of uh, choices for people consuming our offerings. Some people prefer to consume training in a traditional classroom style format, either with a live instructor or with virtual instructor led training. We have a worldwide network of authorized training partners that does just that. Other learners want the increased convenience and flexibility of consuming online training with virtual lectures and online assessments. In order to help these people, we make our training available in online channels as well for our online training partners. Both of those two modes contain the same hands-on labs 
in which people can gain real world skills using real Google Cloud, not a simulation, that gives them the confidence to uh, do new things on the job. Finally, some learners want a maximum amount of flexibility. They want a la carte learning, snackable learning. That's why we also make available a wide portfolio of hands-on lab exercises that can be consumed individually in a safe sandbox environment. Now, all of these lead up to achieving professional and associate level certifications. These are benchmarks that a team can adopt to bring everybody up to a baseline of skill. That's how they know they have the right foundation for innovating and for scaling up. Now, the benchmark concept is very, very important in the way we build our certifications. Uh, their content is defined by subject matter experts and they're key to real world job roles and the, the uses to which people put Google Cloud technology. That's why Google Cloud certifications have a significant benefit, not just to individuals, but to companies as well. They're a well-defined set of skills that fuels growth. There's a wide variety of certifications because we know that people start at different points and because we know that people have a wide variety of interests. The certifications range from being targeted at people with no prior cloud skills or experience, all the way up to people who have three years or more of industry experience and in a wide variety of subject matter areas. Our certifications are organized into three main categories. Two of these categories contain certifications that are aimed at hands-on technical professionals, the associate level and the professional level certifications. Here's the difference. Associate level certifications, such as associate cloud engineer, challenge the candidate for the cert to map from technical requirements to the way a customer would implement a solution. The professional level of certifications introduces one more layer, challenging the candidate to map from business requirements through technical requirements to the details of the way the customer implementation would work. Finally, our credential that is aimed at anyone involved in or impacted by the move to the cloud, Cloud Digital Leader, contains three main bodies of knowledge that it covers general cloud knowledge, knowledge of Google Cloud in particular, and awareness of the business value and role of a variety of important Google Cloud services. Let me give you more information about the exams we make available. They're a two hour experience and they're offered in a multiple choice and multiple select format. The exams don't have prerequisites in that you are not required to complete any specific training or any specific prior certifications in order to attempt them. We do recommend that people have hands-on experience for our certifications that call for that in their descriptions. And we also encourage people to structure their preparation and make sure they come in with the knowledge that each credential calls for. But no prerequisites in the realm of training or other certifications are enforced. The exams are delivered at your choice of either a remote location, in which case the proctoring for the exams is done online, or you can go to a physical testing center and take an exam in an on-site proctored system. Finally, we make available official study guides uh, in addition to all of the other resources that uh, we make available. These books are available from major resellers of books. At this point, I'd like to bring Osazi on. Uh, Osazi, uh, we wanted to ask you to join us today to tell us about your, um, your career journey through the lens of certification. Could I ask you to start off by telling us about uh, your career path before the cloud? Sure, Brian. So my career has spanned approximately two decades and I've had a variety of roles from hands-on um, to technical leadership to just pure leadership um, roles. And I would say that 
certifications and learning and relearning has been a key component in enabling me progress through from uh, being a, an engineer up into leadership positions. Um, why, why do I say this? Um, early on in my career, I started out um, you know, trying to build uh, infrastructures for uh, companies and deliver their IT solutions internally. But I found that the moment I added certifications and that learning experience to my journey, it accelerated one, my knowledge, my learning, and then also my scope of responsibility. So it's something that has worked very well for me in my career. And it's something that I continue to uh, peruse and reuse over and over. Super. Um, and tell us more about what happened when you started moving into the cloud. Sure. So before the journey to the cloud, um, my organization would uh, procure, uh, build, and operate our own internal resources. So think of private cloud. And at some point, uh, we, we realized that the cost and also the time to delivery uh, made us not meet certain business requirements. And we had to start looking at uh, the option of moving some of those workloads to the cloud. Now, we didn't migrate everything over all in one day. We started out in a step-by-step -step process by uh, doing a trial for certain non-critical workloads first to get a feel for uh, how things will operate in the cloud and also um, what the security framework would be because that is a huge consideration for anyone trying to make that journey into the cloud. Over time, as the team got more confident in using resources and understanding the, the products in the cloud, we were able to move even critical workloads into the cloud. And, and one of the benefits, which I think is perhaps well known in the industry is um, when you run your own uh, resources internally, you most often plan for peak demand. And that means that a lot of times you have resources idling, not being used. Whereas in the cloud, in the more paper use model, you're able to more effectively um, use resources and also uh, spend, uh, reduce your spend if you plan your resources properly. Indeed. Well, to sum up, can you tell us now about how, how certifications played a role in your own uh, transition to the cloud? Sure. So I've always enjoyed uh, learning and re relearning. So for me, certifications help me focus my attention over a period of time to, to um, learn that new technology or learn that whatever is new in that space. So an example with Google Cloud is, over a couple of years, I was aware of you know using Google Cloud Platform and also some other uh, providers. But when I made that conscious effort to say, I'm going to get certified, it helped focus and narrow um, my learning to make sure that I mastered the content and understood the products and offerings and how they related to my business. The end result is I've been able to uh, achieve certifications in some of the professional level um, uh, engineer programs like the professional cloud architect, uh, data professional, and some of the other professional level certific certifications. Why I find these helpful is it helps, it helps cover a range of topics that are relevant to the business uh, of, of IT and, and computing today. And um, the certification itself provides you know, uh, knowledge, that is for sure. It gives you the confidence to be able to interact with either external or internal uh, peers or customers. Um, it also gives you that um, uh, confidence. Uh, and as well, there's also the Google swag in terms of the hoodies, the bags, and all the other nice things that Google gives you when you're certified. <laughs> so true. Thank you so much, Osazi, for telling us your story. Now, the last section of our presentation is focused on the benefits of Google Cloud certifications, both to individuals and to companies and the ecosystem. We did a survey in the beginning of 2020 of people who uh, had achieved Google Cloud certifications using an independent third-party organization. Of the people that we surveyed, 78% said that they had gotten additional confidence in their professional future because they got this certification. 82% um, felt like they now had a special way to, improve, to prove their cloud skill competency to potential recruiters. 
83% felt that their resume or CV was now more attractive to prospective employers. And finally, 85% said that they themselves felt more confident in their cloud skills. IT leaders have also been surveyed about the impact of certification. Out of those who authorized training for their teams within the last 12 months in a different survey, two thirds did so specifically with the aim of preparing their team members for certification or recertification. 93% of those leaders agreed that certified employees add value to their organizations well beyond the sheer cost of the certification itself. How much was that? Well, 63% of them were comfortable estimating that the economic benefit of those certified employees was more than 10,000 USD a year, which is a significant increment for what is comparatively a small investment in, uh, the, in skills and knowledge. As Osazi mentioned, there's a wide variety of, uh, of benefits for getting certification, and some of them are swag. Folks who achieve our professional level certifications do get excellent merchandise that allows them to show off their credentials in public. Everybody gets a digital badge that they can put on their profiles on social media and display in other ways. Uh, professional level certified people also get access to special events at um, Google Cloud Next and other venues. They get access to the Google Cloud certified community so that they can exchange ideas and knowledge with other certified people and seek out networking opportunities as well. Now, this talk wouldn't be complete if we didn't have something new to present. In order to help the broad ecosystem get more cloud and Google Cloud skills, today we are announcing Google Cloud Skills Boost. It's a brand new way to consume Google Cloud learning. It makes more than 700 labs, courses, and tools for preparing for our certifications available. And for the next month, we're making it available to all of our customers and partners at no cost. The URL is g.co slash cloud slash free training. And we hope that everybody listening will take advantage of this offer and see what we are making available to help people take their careers to the next level. At this point, I want to thank Osaze for joining us today and telling us his story. And I'd like to thank everyone in the audience for uh, joining us, and we wish you all the best with your cloud careers.